show y'all what we got going here. Got a Blackstone oil analysis. Got a test kit right there. Oil goes in here. I'm assuming like this. Actually, it really was. If you must know, now I'm riding with Andrews because shortly after the test kit. Uh, by the way, guys, at my mechanic, you all know when you got a uh, when you got your own truck, you get get your own mechanic. But for the people just coming in, Blackstone Oil Analysis. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this up on the replay. So I'm showing y'all if y'all go to their website, Blackstone Oil Analysis comes with this test kit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of oil. Put it up in this tube right here and mill it off. It comes with the melon label already on now. So oil's down here, fresh oil. We got the filters. You know. Director. Oh, this one. Boy, getting them certified oil samples. We ain't playing no games. How many got them? 14? Hey! They know they broke 10. So let me tell y'all about the little $15,000 truck that my boy bought. My boy had to come save, my, my boy had to come save the 40,000 buck. He had to come save the 40,000 buck I bought. You know what I'm saying? After, after a year later, my shit, a year, a year and a half later, my shit finally, finally broke down. But it's cool, you see what I'm saying? It's cool. We just gonna, you know, pay that due and get that bitch out. And do what? And keep working. Keep what? Blowing and going. <laughs> That's it. That's how we, we just gonna keep blowing and going. Man. That's it. That's how we doing. Right there posted like a like a stoplight, man. Andrew's finna run me to the to the airport here in a second. You know what I'm saying. I think I don't know. We got tons of I don't know about the flat top in there. I get close though. Fuck, nigga, oh. It's nothing. Ain't got no fucking toes, nigga. This San Antonio, nigga. Yeah, I mean, Tell me. Man, quit making excuses, man. Y'all see this nigga making excuses, man. Man, I ain't, man. The video was done, man. Nah. Man. <laughs> That's good. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I don't know what's going on. So look, this how this how we coming, man. Just wanna stop by and say hi. I see you on YouTube all the time. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it, man. Much appreciation. What's your name, man? What's your name? Yeah, yeah.
What's your name, man? Eric. 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 Yeah, how, how you doing, everybody? That's a good, that's a good. Yeah, I do thank you. I do give it a Yeah, yeah, I do. Nice, nice. Oh, Eric, man, we, we got to get your number, man. We got to get your number, man. We got to get your number. Yeah. Yeah, hazmat, they're hiring with a company I am. Well, the other trying to get a rail out of Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. They got a rail This is under the oil field. Yeah. That would be killing them. Yeah, it, yeah, it depends on um, what kind of, I guess, company you get. Right, right, right. Uh huh. That's what I've been looking for. Yeah. But I, I do a little okay. bit OTR. You can save, save your name and your number in there, man. So, yeah, this is what we got going, man. You know, just a little bit more networking. But look. Yeah. Look, y'all know, y'all, y'all know videos, videos like this don't really come. You understand me? So, y'all know what's going on, right? Y'all know what's going on. When y'all see Justin, Justin, y'all know what's going on, right? All right. All right. All right. Just, it's a whole lot of money going on. That's how we go. It's just a whole lot of money going on. You know. Andrews out here staying on top of his game. Staying on top of staying on his pivot. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's over there. You know. Andrew standing on top of the game, man. Let's see. Let's see. Look, we need more of y'all to come buy some trucks. I'm trying to come get bags with all y'all. Yeah, I had a coming. Yeah, I had a coming. Yeah. Anything besides what I got? Yeah. You know it's holding up. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the way they maintain it. Right. If you maintain it pretty good, right, it'll last, right. last a long time. If you have water and oil, be good. Yes, yeah, that's right. I try to do the oil change every 8,000. <laughs> yeah. That's good. You can talk about the oil change. You know, it'll be good. Do the oil sample here, time. Uh huh. Yeah. I just did my oil sample too. Like I did, um, uh, I got it back. The I just got it back. So, yeah, man. So, so that's what we got going. Uh, Andrews had Andrews. No, I, I do Andrews had uh, went to freight line. What's, what's going on, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Andrews had uh, went to freight liner. After we had got loaded, we got loaded, and uh, man, I don't know what happened. You know, just a little, just some little fluke shit. Just a little fluke shit, man. You know, shit happens. I think uh, uh, one of my injectors start start uh, dumping too much fuel. So tomorrow we'll come to y'all with the other video, and you know, just to verify that that's what that was, or or you know, let y'all know whatever it is that had went wrong. You know, whatever, whatever. So, you know, blah, blah, blah. But look, just know, man, whenever, whenever, whenever little shit like that happen, you see know what I'm saying? When you're out here on the road and you're trying to get money, man, don't get frustrated. Don't get mad. No, none of that. All that is unnecessary. You understand what I'm saying? Because one thing about it, it already happened. So seeing that it already happened, you know, it is what it is. So ain't no point of crying over spilled milk. All you can do is just fix it. So what we gonna do? We gonna fix it. We gonna get back to the bag. We gonna get back to the money. Get back to the, you know, we don't ever veer too far from the money, as y'all can see. Because y'all know, all these videos came to y'all, what, last year around this time? You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how we coming, man. We just staying focused, staying dedicated, staying driven, man. Staying driven to what we got, what we believe in, and what we doing. Nothing more, nothing less, bro. You feel me? Because, you know, like I told Andrews, man. A lot of people, a lot of people, what a lot of people doing right now is, uh, you know, everybody, everybody betting on everything else. You know, you want to bet on the next game, or you know, you want to bet on such and such in a fight, but you don't want to bet on yourself. So why are you not betting on yourself? So, so what's this? What's this here, my brother? That, that's it's called hydro chem pump. It pumps off chemicals, anything that's liquid. So um, it's corrosive. You know, it's stainless steel. It has an air compression on there. Now this some bitch here look brand new, guys. Yeah, it's brand new. Oh it's, yeah, it's brand new. It's I, I'm the first one that used it. Uh, the truck is not old. It's not new. It's old. It's a two, 2015 Coronado. Okay, okay. And, um, right if now, you don't mind, man, to lace the people up, man. How, how, how much is this right here? How much something like this here? Uh, right? They say they cost anything between five thousand to eight thousand dollars. So you telling me this right here costs five thousand to eight thousand yeah. dollars? I'm not sure exactly. So, price. so if you it's, don't, it's a, it's a dual, it's a dual pump. It's a pump and a and a compressor. Oh man. So, 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 so if you don't mind us asking, 
with you making this five thousand dollar investment right here, what are you looking to return? Just just a, a, a uh, rough estimate. The type of work we do as as an owner operator and regional, a little bit OTR, a little bit local. Um, it's it ranges from you know four thousand, five thousand, up to eight thousand dollars a week. Right, right. I did I did a like a, I'm regional, mm -hmm. so I go I load out and back. Um, that week I made about six grand to my pocket already. Okay, That's okay. after taxes, after, you know, after everything that's taken off, percentage and everything, and the fuel. Um, the other week I did uh, three loads in Mississippi. Um, I made eight thousand in that. Uh, so easy think, money. You yeah. think easy money. It's it's oh, got up and down it's too. up and down too, but it's it's a little bit more steady. Uh, it's a lot of wait time when you go to these these, these refineries. A lot of wait time, like we morning wait time too. That's what we're doing right now. Do, do y'all get demerged on the wait time? Yes. Uh, it depends each customer what it is. Each customer has a different one. So some of them after two hours, some after three hours, and then you get demerged time. Okay. Better than Halliburton. Yeah. Halliburton yeah. five hours. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, like right now we're we got a, a nice, nice little right setup, now. man. I like yeah, this. Yeah, we got, we got, we got. I like this here. Yeah. In fact, he almost got the same truck like Andrews, just a new one. Man, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. But yeah, so like we were saying, y'all, you know. That's what it's about, man. Just staying focused, staying dedicated, man. Know where you, knowing where you're going, staying, staying dedicated to your game plan, and understand this. Understand that how you got it figured out in your head right now. You probably feel like you know you're gonna go out there right now, and you're gonna get you know extra rich. Oh yeah. So 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 this is where a lot of people give up. A lot of people give up because they be like, well, the money not coming in fast enough. It's not what I thought it would be. You see what I'm saying? But listen, it's not a race. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a race, man. You gotta pace yourself. Pace yourself. Cause it's a marathon. You understand what I'm saying? So we gotta go all the way to the end. All the way to the end. No pointer, no pointer, you know, getting your hopes up, burning yourself out real quick and no nothing. Nah, man. You gotta come into this thing with a game plan. So what's the game plan? You see what I'm saying? Because because this what we're doing right now. This is what we're doing right now. You know, we really just, this for the long run. You see what I'm saying? You know, this truck and shit, this, 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 this is not no uh, 90 day get rich quick scheme. This, this is, this is no, this is no fucking lotto. This is no fucking, you know, you're going to wake up and you, and, and you're going to look in your account. It's going to be a hundred thousand dollars. You see what I'm saying? Now, now don't get me wrong. You can get to that. You can get to that, but you got to stay focused. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. That's all you got to do. Stay focused, man. Stay dedicated. You feel me? Come into this thing with a with a five year or ten year goal. You understand what I'm saying? So look, so I'm just to give y'all a little glimpse of what I've been on here lately. So you know, we're coming with a with a five to ten year game plan, and uh, you know, we plan on putting some money in some mutual funds. Uh, you know, investing in some Roth IRAs. Trying to see if we can't get over that 12% return on there. So, you know, right now, man, it's, it's, it's about, like I said, it's about the long run. As in what you're going to leave in the future. So when I say the future, I'm talking about, you know, when you 40, 50 years old, when you 40, 50 years old, you see what I'm saying? Are you going to have you a nice retirement plan? Because you can retire with millions. So look, if you don't retire with millions, in, in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, it ain't nobody else's fault. It's your fault. You understand what I'm saying? It's your fault, man. It's your fault. But, you know, like I said, hey, man, y'all should look into it. Get y'all, get go, go go get you a Roth IRA and go get you some, you know, just about four mutual funds and let that shit sit, man. Let that shit sit and just keep adding on to it. Like I say, you know, you want to do that opposed to just putting the shit in the bank and, you know, it don't collect money. Or it do, but you know, it's only like, what, what you know, for fucking $12,000, leaving the bank for a year. What they give you like a, a fucking $100 on that? Some shit. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing serious, nothing hectic. You understand what I'm saying? But to where, you know, you can get you four mutual funds and a Roth IRA and uh, 
you know, like I said, man, you could just put up, you know, that car payment that you got, that bogus ass car payment you got, that three fifty a month, five hundred a month. You could be putting that up into your into your own retirement fund. Into your own retirement fund. You understand what I'm saying? You know, be living like this, man. You know, we could be out here vacationing every day, politicking every day, living how you want. Just understand, man. Don't be mad at nobody else if you don't if you never get to live like you want. You see what I'm saying? Because only you can give you what you want. That's it. Nobody else. Nobody else, man. Hey, man, I ain't come to preach y'all's brains off or nothing like that, man. I'm just trying to tell y'all some real shit, man. I want to see y'all all win. You know, I want to hear some good stories. I want, I, I want to hear some good stories. You know, whenever y'all do come across me, I, I, I want it to be some, I want it to be something like this here. Hey, Justin. Man, I just want to let you know, uh, you know, look, you know, we used to watch our videos back in the day, and uh, this is what we're doing right now. You know, we got seven, eight houses. Uh, you know, we got 300,000, 500,000 in the bank, all that good stuff there. You understand what I'm saying? That, that, that's, that's what I'm trying to see for the people, man. And I know, you know, this ain't about coming out here, riding on riches, looking good, all this other the weird shit. You understand? So, so, so really all I'm saying is, don't be stupid out here. Don't be stupid out here, man. Don't be stupid out here. And when I say don't be stupid, I'm saying don't be stupid with your money. Stop doing the same old systematical bullshit. Stop spending your money on dumb shit. Stop tricking off your money. Invest your money in something that's going to come back to you. Get you some mutual funds. Get you some stocks and bonds. Let that shit sit there. Keep adding on to it. Come with you a game plan, man. A nice game plan. So your kids will have something. And, and then, so understand this, man. I want y'all to understand this, too. That even if you come out here with a with a with a 10 15 year game plan and you don't ever really see your shit come to fruition but when you die your kids get to see it all you see what i'm saying your kids get the millions or they get to you see, you see what i'm saying they get to they get to experience some of those Roth IRAs that you got or some of those mutual funds that you got you see what i'm saying or they get to check out that you know they get to go cash in that good a uh, uh, million dollar life insurance policy that you had got when you was younger because you listened because you were smart with your money you understand what i'm saying so look i encourage that to everybody i encourage that to everybody so look this is what y'all should do bro. at the very minimum at the very minimum once again at the very minimum Go get you a million dollar life insurance policy, man, just in case some shit happen. That way, when your kids, when your kids, that, that way, you know, whenever you die or whatever the case is, or whenever you pass and leave us and leave this earth, or however you want to put it, whenever some shit goes sour with you, your kids will be straight. As opposed to leaving your family out here in debt, and, you know, they don't have nothing. So now, so now, look, because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give you, let me give you the systematical bullshit that people that people go through or that people experience. So, so, so typically, what people will do is, you know, you'll come out here and you will get this big, nice, fancy ass car. You see what I'm saying? You know, you got all the nice shoes, you got all the Gucci, all the Louis, you got all these chains and all this old dumb shit that don't mean nothing. So when you die, you leaving your kids and your family in a hell of a debt. You see what I'm saying? Now you leave them scrambling. They not even scrambling to cash in your shit. They they scrambling to try to keep your shit from from you know getting repoed or whatever the case is. Then they got to pay for your burial and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? So you know, if you ask me, that's looking like a failure. That's looking like a like a smooth failure. To where at least. That same bread that you're gonna fuck off on a car payment, you know, that 350 a month or whatever the case is, that 350 a month that you're gonna fuck off, you know, you could be putting 127 of that up in an account, up in an account, up in a life insurance policy account each month. So make sure when you know when you pass your kids half a million dollars. You see what I'm saying? You know, hey, 
I know some of y'all, you know, some of y'all probably got an extra 60, 30, 40, even $20,000 sitting around. You know what I'm saying? So why don't you, why don't you just go get you a little plan? It ain't going to take nothing but maybe, maybe $500 to $1,000 to initiate you a life insurance policy plan. Maybe, if even that much. And then, and then, and then you just do something small, like start putting up, you know, two fifty a month, hundred dollars a month to go to, towards your burial. You know, like this, I ain't saying that, you know, I'm not saying that nobody gonna die soon or no shit like that, man. I'm just telling y'all, you know, some real shit. You know, giving y'all some of the games that I've been soaking up here lately, man. On um, investing my money wisely, getting me some Roth IRAs, getting me some mutual funds. So when I by the time I turn 50, 50, 60, you know, I can retire and I, I can have, you know, 2.3 million in the bank. Hey, hey, even if I had a million dollars in the bank, it's still a million cash. It's still a million cash. You understand what I'm saying? So like I said, man, be in this shit for the long run, man. Be in this shit to give your, give your people a plan. Be in this shit to, you know, spread the web. Hey, 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 now don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, y'all. Do not get me wrong. I'm not saying, you know, don't spoil yourself every now and then because every now and then you know you got to go do something for yourself you got to go check out bunch of money by yourself you know you got to go buy yourself something nice you know to keep yourself you know well appreciated or whatever the case is but don't be dumb about it don't be dumb about it man don't be dumb about it you know a lot of y'all buying these a lot of y'all out here buying these buying these uh uh you know two three hundred dollar jordans for your kids each month when they drop just for them just for them to wear them and go fuck them up to where the same two three hundred dollars that you spending on your kids jordan's paying jordan why the fuck are you paying michael jordan michael jordan already rich why are you paying him can somebody tell me that can somebody say because i'm gonna get i'm gonna give you the motherfucking walmart specials around this bitch you know what's going on with me you know i don't change what you what you know y'all gonna yeah that's how we come in I don't need no motherfucker Jordans. No motherfucker Jordans make me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm damn sure, <laughs> damn sure not gonna make Jordans. All that two hundred dollars is not gonna do nothing for his good rich ass. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing about Jordan. See, Jordan, super rich. His kids, super rich. His grandkids, 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 super, super filthy fucking rich. All cause what? Cause we keep making these same dumbass investments, right? To where, like I said, man, you could just take. You could take the same two hundred dollars that you're spending on your kids' shoes each month. You could take that same two hundred dollars, and you could put that in to a college a college fund account for them for your kids. You could be putting that same two two hundred dollars in the account for your kids to where to where when they graduate when they graduate high school or whatever the case is, you know they'll have some motherfucking money. You know they you know they can have a, a little you know. You give them a fixed income. You give them a fixed income. If you start now, you can give your kids, your own kids, a fixed income. That's what you can do. That's what you can do. You can give your kids a fixed income. You can, you can say, you know what, baby, look. You done graduated high school. You don't know if you want to go to college. You don't know exactly what you want to do right now. So look, do what you need to do. You're good, but you need to come up with a game plan. I'm gonna give you six months, six months, and this is your allowance for six months. You only get two thousand dollars a month from me to pay all your bills. You see what I'm saying? But not just that, not just that, man. Because look, I've been doing some hell of fire thinking lately, man. I've been doing some hell of fire thinking. I had because some shit came across my brain the other day. I was like, you, do you know? Do you know how fucking bad I would feel? If I didn't set up no kind of game plan or no kind of plans for my kids, man, and 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 when they get older, I end up having to ask my kids for some money. That's got to be the worst fucking thing in the world for you to have to ask your kids for some fucking money. Cause you can't help, cause you can't pay your own bills. That's sick. You see what I'm saying? To where, like I said, man, you can start right now. And by the time your kids hit 16, 17, so look, look, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a game plan like, 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 like our oppressors would get their kids. So, so what would they do? They would do something like this. They would probably set up some Roth IRAs for their kids already. You know, have life insurance policies, all this good shit here. 
because let me tell you what they were doing. So by the time one of the kids is, is still still in uh, high school, by the time they turn about 15 or 16, what they would uh, let's say 16, 17. By the time they turn 16, 17, what they would do. What they would do, see, they would already have a business, a business structure for the kids. They would have their kids on a business structured as, you know, manager or whatever the case is. And, and 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 even if the kids didn't see the money, even if you just, you know, if you just filter the money back and forth throughout a throughout an account for your kids, what that does, see, what that does is, it just gives your kids, a, it gives your kids a chance. You see what I'm saying? To where, to where, look, they can say, okay, well, look, well, from from 15 to 18 or 15 to 20, we've seen this much come in your account. Uh, you've been paid this every week uh, from your business or your parents' business. Um, you know, so we can offer you this much money, or we can we can do this for you, or whatever the case is. You see what I'm saying? So you know, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things that can happen right now. Here we go right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, my guy? You ain't feeling to a coma yet? Say it again. I thought you ain't feeling to a coma yet. Oh yeah, you know I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you know I'm a beast. Three days up, straight. No, I'm a beast. Now I already do this, but now nah, look, as soon as I get a chance, to, I'm gonna go lay my happy nigga ass down. Shit, shit enough. I hope anyway. <laughs> but you know, the marathon just 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 got started though. Hell, I ain't say this was the victory lap. I said it just got started. So that's what we on right now, man. What we on? So look, 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 look. Oh. No, 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 no. But check it out, check it out. Look, look. so I, I, we got a little situation right here. So look, so so I'm over here with Chase and Andrews, right? I'm over here with Chase and Andrews, and uh, I actually got you on live right now while you on the phone. So look, I just I just want you to wanted you to tap in with the people and tell the people about your experience of buying these trucks, man. Uh, you know, I just want to know, you know, if maybe it changed your life. I'm not saying I changed your life, but I'm just saying the decisions that you made that they've changed your life. Or, you know, if you got, you know, hey, you really got in your bag some more. Has the money came in right? Or, or you know, what's oh, yeah. the difference? Oh yeah, oh yeah, more definitely, more definitely, more definitely changed my life. You know what I mean? I can't speak for the next man, but more definitely changed my life. You know, it got me right. You got me doing that. They kept me my very one. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. You said you said how many trucks you just you just went bought? This this year what? My third one right here. God damn. And 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 how long ago did you buy your first one? Uh, well, it was like March, end of end of February, something like that. Okay, okay. And you're already on your third truck. Yeah, on my third one. And if I'm not if I'm if I'm not mistaken, you've been coming to go drop the drop the bag on these trucks, right? I think you've been spending like what oh, six yeah. thousand, seven thousand. Easy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Easy, and it, and it, it ain't hurt hurt it nothing, huh? Nah, nah, we still get it, man. We still get it. Man. Yeah, right, oh, man. so look, so look, so look. What's your game plan? How, how how you got your truck set up right now? Like like, what kind of operation? Do you got a solo operation right now? You got a team up? What you got going? Uh, well, shit, right now I got uh I got two trucks. Uh, team driving over the road. OCR got one with flatbed, both of us with flatbed now. Uh, drive in, but then now I got the third, but I'm gonna throw over there. Like okay, okay, okay. Shit, it like so, so, so. You know, we ain't trying to get all in your pockets, but, but I will project. I mean, what you think you would probably be doing doing a month now? Matter, matter of fact, can, can can you tell us? Can you tell us? You mind telling the people, man, the first about the first check that you had showed me, about the first check that you had showed me, man, that that, that you had, that you had made. I'm talking about when you when you was working for somebody else. When I was working, no, when I was working with somebody else. Yeah. Uh, like like thirty seven hundred every two weeks. So you so you was doing like thirty seven hundred every two weeks, right? So 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 so, what are you doing every week now, with three trucks? Man, like <laughs> like shit, about a about a cool, think about a cool twelve feet, thirteen, out of everything, truck load, everything. You probably bring on about a cool twelve feet. So, so, so you telling me in less than three months, you bought three trucks and not only in less than three months, but you took your, you was making $3,700 every two weeks. And now you're making about 13,000 profit 
every two weeks? Yeah, exactly what I was saying. God. So every week, no, I make that every week. Yeah, I make that every week. I get paid every week. Uh, but every two weeks, damn. every two weeks, I probably bring nothing, nothing to 20 G's. You know what I mean? A week. God damn. God yeah. damn. Hey man. That bad coming in. Hey man, shout, that's... shout out to my boy Justin, man. You know what I mean? Man, I sure so appreciate it. I'm a dog out, man. You know what I'm saying? I so appreciate it, my guy. I so appreciate it. You see what I'm saying? But look. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We just had somebody say, somebody said he, uh, you lying. So hold on. Hold on, let me see. Let's that see. We lying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because they, they, they don't believe you just bought another truck. Uh, uh, you just got that bitch, what, last week? You you bought, you spent, uh, spent the bread back, what, last Thursday, last Friday, and you finna go pick it up, right? So hold on, hold on. Cause yeah, yeah, I got yeah. your name in here. So look, I'm finna go to your name I real been quick. Saying, I've been saying, I got it. say he booked that flight? Away. You know what I mean? Oh shit, he booked that flight. What's that? For? That's for tomorrow. Okay, okay. What else, what else we got here? I think little bro coming, little bro coming to cash that bag, man. Y'all see it? Y'all see the text, man? All the text is real. Little bro coming to, yeah, man. Check him out, man. Noony grind hard, used to, man. That's the guy. So look, if anybody need a job, how's it going? If anybody need a job, y'all hit up my guy. You know, you gotta come with those credentials, though. You gotta come with those credentials, man. And we gonna get y'all right, man. We got all kind of operations. We got team operations. Uh, he got he got he got solo operations. He got flatbed. He got drive-in. He got OTR. He got regional. He got the whole nine. Uh, whole nine. He got That's the whole nine. nine. Matter of fact, well, but you know, well. if, if you want to, you could drop you could drop your number. You could drop your number, man, in case you want some a bunch of drivers hitting your line. You know, just to keep them in pocket or whatever. Because see, I know you. I so I know what you're gonna do with it. So you know. Yeah. Most okay. definitely, goddamn me. So look, this is how we gonna rock. But anyway, look, I'm gonna hit you right back as soon as I get done with this video, my guy. Yeah. Right. Right. Where? Where? What's good, man? All money in. All money in. What I been about? Hey, Y'all probably can't see it, but that one right there. That's being tatted on me. What does that say? That that's say marathon. And I think over here it says runner. So you know, marathon runner. All money in. And over here somewhere I got 25 8 life. You know, living that 25 8 life out here in this world field, man. It, it don't matter where we go, we're going to live a 25 8 life. Period, point blank, man. We're going to get to the bag. We're going to get to the money, man. So we encourage y'all to stay focused. Y'all stay humble. Y'all stay healthy. Healthy. Y'all stay wealthy. Stay blessed up. Not stressed up. Y'all enjoy life, man. Y'all be smooth. We ain't going nowhere. I'm going to just slide it back to Andrews. Yeah, what we try to do is uh, we wait uh, to like, I want to say, okay, we wait till like 7 p.m. Yes. Where a lot of people sleep. Uh -huh. And then that's when that, we start that's, running. That's, that's some powerful shit right there. Don't delete that. Uh, I don't even know what you've been talking about. You've been out here 33 minutes. <laughs> we'll get back to y'all. Let me uh, go ahead and Hey, you're off already? Oh, yeah, yeah, you still on, huh? Okay, okay, okay. I know, you want to say something? Go ahead. No, no, no. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, how we in this thing? 